Hi guys and welcome to Motor Beam. The compact SUV segment in India has so many competitors and all of them are quite capable. And now finally they are here with the venue that has been slotted between the i20 Active and the Creta. Now the pricing of the Hyundai venue is surely very attractive. But is the car really worth a buy and can it stand up to its capable rivals? Well, time to find out. On the outside, the Hyundai Venue looks quite sophisticated and stylish. From certain angles, it resembles the Creta, but obviously it looks like a smaller version of its sibling. At the front, you get these uniquely styled headlamps, where the turn indicators are placed above, while the main headlamp unit is placed in the bumper. The Venue also comes with tiny fog lamps, which are placed right at the bottom of the bumper. Along with the projector headlamps, the Venue also comes with square-shaped LED DRLs. The side profile of the venue is where it resembles the Creta the most. Yes, the shoulder line and the pillars of the car look like a smaller version of the Creta. And obviously the venue also comes with some stylish looking alloy wheels. The styling at the rear of the venue is quite straightforward. The design isn't really fussy. In fact, it is very simple and I think it looks really pleasant. Now, when we compare the size of the venue to its rivals, the venue is a bit similar in size to the Vitara Brezza. And when we compare it to the EcoSport, the venue obviously feels a tad bit smaller. Now that we are done with the styling of the venue, I think we should get going with the interiors because people have a lot of hopes from this one. Talking about the materials used inside the cabin, well, the quality is typical Hyundai. It isn't bad, in fact, it is better than some of its rivals and I think it is pretty well built for this price. The plastics on the dashboard and door pads are obviously hard, but they don't really feel cheap in quality. The design of the dashboard is quite user-friendly and functional. There are obviously a lot of controls, but everything falls in easy reach of the hand. The design of the steering wheel is all new. In fact, it is unlike any other Hyundai we have seen before. The center console of the venue comes with an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system. Now, while the design of the infotainment system makes it look like it was an aftermarket thought, the thing is that Hyundai has given it a floating feel. So the Hyundai venue comes with a lot of features. In fact, the equipment list is really long. The most hyped about feature of the venue is obviously the Blue Link connectivity feature, but we'll get there later. For now, I'll talk about the regular equipment that this car offers. The Hyundai Venue comes with a sunroof, it gets cruise control, it has keyless go with push button start, it has electrically adjustable and folding mirrors, and obviously it has automatic climate control. The 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system comes with a variety of options like Bluetooth, USB, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and inbuilt navigation. Now, the sound quality from the audio system isn't very great. I mean, it is pretty good and will suffice most of the customers. However, it isn't something that would please an audiophile's ears. In terms of safety, ABS and dual front airbags are standard on every variant of the venue. The top variant comes with six airbags on offer. However, the funny thing is that the petrol automatic variant that is with the new petrol engine comes with only two airbags even on the top variant. While the top variant with the other engines is called the SXO, on the petrol automatic, it is actually called the SX Plus trim and it misses out on leather seats, four airbags, that is you get only two airbags as standard and a rear wiper. Talking about the Blue Link connectivity feature, well, the Hyundai Venue comes with an inbuilt SIM from Vodafone Idea and this is an eSIM and not an actual SIM. So now what you have to do is install the Blue Link app on your phone and pair it with the car. With this, you can control a plethora of functions. The Blue Link has a lot of cool features, such as you can switch on the ignition of the car by sitting in the comfort of your home or office. You can switch on the AC before coming to your car so that it cools up while you arrive and you can even track the position of your car. So suppose you have given the car to your driver and he has taken it somewhere, you can actually track the live location of the car on your phone. There's also a very cool SOS feature. Suppose an untoward incident happens, then you can just press the SOS button and within 10 seconds, you are bound to get a call from the emergency helpline. Another useful feature of this is the roadside assistance feature. 
Now suppose you are taking the car and going out and the car meets with a breakdown, then you can just press the RSA button and you'll get help from the roadside assistance team. So that was it about the features on offer with the Hyundai Venue. Yes, this car definitely has a lot of features and a lot of customers are bound to get attracted by these. Now when we talk about the seats, the front seats are very snug and comfortable. They offer very good comfort and even the side ball string is quite good. The seats are actually a good place to be in and even the driving position is very good. You actually get a good view of the road ahead and the bonnet is also placed quite high. Moving on to the rear seat, well space at the rear is definitely limited. Yes, this car is more a 4 seater than a 5 seater but obviously you can squeeze in a child in between. Knee room at the rear is a bit limited due to the length of the car and the high boot space on offer. Shoulder space and headroom are pretty good and even though space at the rear is limited, the seats are again very nice and comfortable. Storage spaces in the cabin of the Hyundai Venue are abundant and even the boot space is quite good. So the Hyundai Venue is available with three engine options in India. You get the 1.2 litre Kappa petrol engine from the i20, the 1.4 litre CRD engine again from the i20 and the Verna and obviously the all new 3 cylinder 1 litre GDI turbo petrol unit. So this all new engine comes with a 6 speed manual gearbox or a 7 speed DCT built in house by Hyundai. So talking about refinement first, well this is a 3 pot unit and still it is very refined, vibrations are well contained, NVH level is also pretty good. This engine has a lot of turbo lag lower down. So once the turbo starts spooling, you get a good surge of power all the way to the red line. So now this power surge isn't very sudden, it isn't very spiky either. In fact, it is very linear and it doesn't push you back in the seat. Overtaking other cars on the highways takes some time because the turbo lag is very apparent and you really need to wait for the power to kick in. But once the engine gets going, touching high speeds isn't very difficult. So now this engine redlines at about 6500 rpm, it likes being revved and it also sounds pretty good near the redline. Talking about the 7 speed DCT, well this gearbox is smooth, it is lag free, however it isn't as quick as say a DSG. It still does its job very nicely, however you don't get a sport mode, neither do you get paddle shifters. You do get a manual Tiptronic mode and that comes in to be quite useful on the highways. Now talking about the driving dynamics of the all new Hyundai Venue, well we'll talk about the steering first. And the steering is very light at city speeds, it feels very easy and convenient to drive. Now out on the highways, the steering feels well weighed but it lacks in terms of feedback. I mean it doesn't provide the same kind of feedback that you would probably get from a Vita Brezza or the EcoSport. The car has good body control, obviously there is some amount of roll when you hit corners really hard and it isn't really scary, in fact this car has pretty good dynamics. You can't really call it as engaging as the EcoSport to drive but overall this should keep you happy. In terms of ride quality, well the suspension of the Hyundai Venue is pretty much well sorted. It tackles all the potholes and bad patches of roads very easily. Also at high speeds on the highways, we obviously felt some up and down movement which gets a bit discomforting but overall there is no issue with the ride quality as such. And in terms of ride and handling balance, the venue is pretty good but the issue is that it doesn't really excel in either of those. The brakes of the Hyundai Venue offer a very sharp bite and the stopping power is actually quite good. After driving the Hyundai Venue the entire day, I must say we have come out really impressed. This car offers a lot of things such as good looks, lots of features and creature comforts, very good seats, a convenient and easy to drive nature and obviously that is backed by Hyundai's reliability and after sales service. Obviously this car isn't as fun to drive as something like the Ford EcoSport but honestly buyers in this segment don't really look for fun. In fact, this car offers a lot of things that most buyers in this segment want. 
the cherry on the cake is that everything comes at a very attractive price and with the top end being priced at rupees 13 lakhs on road mumbai i think the venue makes for a very good buy in this segment thank you guys for watching this video do let me know in the comment section what do you think about the hyundai venue and whether you will pick this car over its rivals do hit the like button share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the motorbeam channel